Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'll go over how to solve equations in Excel. Uh, in Excel, we solve equations using uh, the goal seek functionality. It's not the only method, but uh, that's the one we use in this class. So how does it work? Here I have an example here. Uh, the equation to solve is 2x cubed minus 5x equals 72. So what I'm about to do, uh, the first good step will be to graph this function. Let's call it f of x in order to get a sense of what's, uh, what its behavior is, its overall behavior. Uh, let's say I graph it from negative 5 to positive 5 uh, because based off of the domain, the inputs could be uh, positive or negative, the, the, the domain of this function is all real numbers. So I plug in the formula, which is 2x cubed minus 5 times x. And then I quickly create a plot or graph of this function. And from the table, actually, I can tell that the function goes through between 3 and 4. It goes, the outputs go from 39 to 108. So the solution to this equation will be a number between 3 and 4. But let's say I go ahead and plot it still. So that's what my plot looks like. And once again, my setting 2 is somewhere here. And I only have one solution, which should make sense because cubic functions are one to one. So meaning one input corresponds to a single output. So once I go sick, I'm, I know for a fact that I have the only solution to this equation. So uh, let's run through the go sick procedure. So my first step will be to click on any cell, including my f of x, my output which again is the 2x cubed minus 5x. So I click on any cell. Then I go to data here on the forecast, what if analysis and goal seek. So the goal seek menu shows up. Goal seek needs three uh, things. Goal seek needs me to provide it with three things. The first one is which formula should be solved for. And the formula here is in the cell I just clicked prior to starting. That's why I clicked on that cell. So it's set cell C11, this cell. The second thing I need to provide is two values. So which value should that formula be set to? Recall that we were solving the equation f of x equals 72. So the value is should be set to 72. And the last piece is by changing cell. So that's the cell with my input corresponding to this output 72. So here in my table, the corresponding input is this one, which currently has the 3 in there. So that's the, the x I'm solving for corresponding to the corresponding output 72. So once I, at this point, Excel has all the information it needs to solve the equation f of x equals 72. So once I hit OK, Excel provides me with the solution to my equation. So x equals 3.5538. So that is the, so the x, the solution to the equation f of x equals 72. So I know for a fact that x is about 3.55. Now, one very important thing I want to point out here is that uh, GoSeq only provides one solution at a time. So, uh, it's perfectly fine for solving an equation involving a one-to-one -one function, as mentioned earlier. So, what happens if that function you're solving for is not a one-to-one? -one? What if it's a quadratic, meaning that equation has two solutions? Let's see what to do. So all we need to do here is uh, make sure we go seek 
twice because again Excel will provide solutions one at a time so if you know for a fact that you're solving an equation which has more than one solution i.e. an equation involving a function that's not one to one you must ensure that you go see twice so let's say I'm solving this one uh, again I provide Excel with the table of values uh, good idea again to plot that function within a nice enough range uh, to get a sense of how many solutions you could possibly have so here I know for a fact that I have two of them because I go through 120 somewhere here as well as somewhere here so that tells me I have two solutions so I need to go save twice so let's get the first one again I click on any cell with the output preferably within that range which is the whole purpose of graphing the uh, of providing that table first so uh, and then I run through the goal seek procedure so data what if analysis goal seek I'll solve here for x equals 120 by changing cell click on the x so that's my first solution to my equation next I go within the neighborhood for my second solution which will be somewhere here and I'll run through the goal seek procedure once again 120 input and just like that I solved my quadratic equation and I know for a fact that the two solutions to this equation are x equals it's about negative 5.84 or 6.51 all right see you on the next video uh,